You know, we have a lot of expressions in the English language. I don't even know what I'm saying. What are we talking about? Where did that come from? Most all of us use them every day. I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means. You know, we just say them as if they really made as sense. If they really made sense. I mean, how silly is that? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? What the f is he talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to season two's goat phrase bracket oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah what's good you know who it is you know what it is it's a new mario and welcome to the appraiser phrase show origins of everyday expressions we're still in our season two goat phrase championship tournament 20 in the building yo what's good really? yo mario let me ask you a question ask me anything is it me or is this tournament going longer than the last one? It might not. It might not. It was more phrases last year, two more. Uh huh. But okay. I think because we got more work to do. <laughs> like it's dragging. Like before, we just had to post up on social media. And now we actually got it. Yeah, I think that's what it is because we put in a lot of work. So it's like. <laughs> It feels a little longer. <laughs> I'm like, damn, every time you say, oh, second round of round two. I'm like, <laughs> 12 more <laughs> like, wait, what? 12 more it's rounds? It's like the yodeler. It's like the yodeler on the price is right. Like, you're moving very slow, big dog. Yeah, bro. Thank you for okay. mentioning that, man. Thanks for mentioning okay, that. Right. Yeah, you're back. We're ready. Like 20 mentioned, we're still in round two. We're still. <laughs> We got matchup three of round two, though. Don't we're getting there? We're getting there. And before we get into round two's matchup, we want to first introduce another part of the family. The family grows; it's strong. The ATP brand, the Underdog Podcast Network brand. You know what I'm saying? And then behind the scenes, obviously, more, more, more family. It's actually more integral than that. I'm actually. It's very uh, more important. It, would you would you say so or not, Twenty Williams? Yeah, you know what? I would say so. And, and, and with that, and with that, I want to welcome. I want to welcome. Actually, Twenty. No, nope, no. Nope. Here you go, brother. I'm an agent of chaos. Go ahead and introduce. Oh, today is a very very special show, Mario. Go ahead and turn down the lights. Hit up the candles for me, please. <laughs> we have today a really, really great, great person. Uh, I would honestly say one, but I would say the most important one of my best friends, uh, my fiance, Trisha Ray, and also, also one of the hosts of uh, our new podcast coming out next Tuesday. <laughs> Flash, it's no, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I can't, you know, I can't help. I, I would have actually, I but how, after the recording, I'd have been like, why didn't you, you if you didn't? Help it. No, no, no. But no, no, seriously, guys, we, we are, like Mario said, we're growing. And the things that we want to do, and we're, we're actually able to do them. So might as well do it with your family, like you said. And uh, we have a new podcast that we're putting together. Uh, it's definitely going to be an all-female cast podcast. We want to really focus on, you know, just women, not just uh, relationship, but women in the workplace, you know, and I feel like that's something that gets forgotten about, you know what I mean? Like with everything that going, that's going on in the world today, how people are talking and uh, how really people just really don't give a fuck about what they're doing yeah. and the consequences, yeah, I take the consequences when I'm dead type shit. So yeah. it's one of those situations where we definitely want to give the platform for, you know, the people that deserve it. And uh, we feel like this new uh, podcast is definitely going to do that. We're going to uh, give that platform to, uh, you know, our women that really need to be heard. Absolutely, man. So, uh, and they always getting talked at and talk too so it's, it's dope that they can respond in their own form with their own control so trisha ray how you feel welcome to atp tournament hey, series how you hey. feeling i'm feeling wonderful especially that great introduction gave me points point great grade that grade grade that appraise that <laughs> 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 yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm about to say 
<laughs> but no, nah, no, nah, man, we, we, we're super excited, not just for today's show, but for the future of ATP and a ATP TV and what we got going on, guys. So as long as you guys keep supporting, we're going to definitely keep putting out quality stuff, man. Quality stuff. Nah, it's, it's, and, and you know what it is? What's if that? I can if I can continue to uh, Please. talk about it. It's a situation where we're giving you things, guys, that we're, we're giving you things that uh, aren't already there. So the things that we're giving you aren't saturated. You know what I'm saying? Like these are quality shows that we want to put out uh, and just get to those people that are looking for something that's that's different. So that's different. Absolutely. And I feel like we have that with uh, ABW. ABW on the way. So Trish, we won't put you on the spot like that. We'll give you an opportunity, you and the gang, to to step out, but from behind the curtain. Um, in full form as the way y'all like to think about it but so happy to have you on the show the tournament series what we gonna ask of you today is just give your opinion on this matchup but first let's get your opinion and let's all find out the winner of last week's matchup so we had number nine a blessing in disguise against number eight hindsight is 2020 we both 20 and i were conflicted the audience, the viewers, the listeners, too, were conflicted. They were conflicted? They were conflicted. Wow. So let me roll this drum roll because it's tight. We Let me announce the winner. Here we go. I like that. I like that. And with 63% of the votes, a blessing in disguise moves on. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now, when I was watching the voting tally, man, I was so glad because High Side 2020 is so whack in the sense that, like, like you said, to I think a lot of people like it when they hear it; it's in front of them, but they don't use it a lot. And if they're using it, it's not used correctly, and most right. people ain't got it. Most people ain't got it like that. So let's not even blessing in disguise. At least like the true essence. As I was watching the voting tally, uh. Blessing this guy's came out. And then Hindsight yeah, 2020 started to creep. Up, yeah, yeah, I'm like, okay, this is about to be another blowout. Hindsight 2020 started to creep a little bit. And from there, <laughs> I'm like, what's about to happen? It got into the 50s. And in the last day of voting, <laughs> two more came for Blessing in Disguise and, 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 and tapped it up a little bit. So, Blessing in Disguise. But I got another stat for y'all. I've been messing around. I got another stat for you. You ready for this stat, man? Please. Ready for the stat, Trish? Yes. Good. So, I found some canoodling in the technology world. And I was able to uh, set something up to where I could count how many times each of these phrases were tweeted during the matchup <laughs> time frame. <laughs> so do you want to hear so the the viewers viewers <laughs> listeners voted 63 percent now the twitter stat by the numbers y'all see the uh-huh. graphic twitter by the numbers a blessing in disguise was tweeted out a total of 2928 times during the voting period so that's tuesday to sunday right 2928 wow. hindsight 2020 1078 so the voting, the voting matched up to reality. More people tweet that out. More people use uh, "blessing in disguise" in tweets than uh, "hindsight 2020." So, because I found that tech, we gonna have that update for the rest of our tournament matchup. Maybe even yeah, I was about ain't to that say kind of right fun? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the weather to be scared or like, I know, like what is that? <laughs> yeah, Skynet, nigga, Skynet. May, may I ask a question? Of course. When when you saw the statistics. Did you make sure they were being used correctly? So that's where there's the there's a the thing. As as I was looking at this, because I would go on ATP's uh, Twitter page, I'm like, how do I respond to some of this? Now, some of these, <laughs> one of them, it was like uh, this very very terrible thing, or this very very normal thing, um, is a blessing in disguise. Blah blah, and I I had to retweet it and say, where's the disguise? <laughs> Like you're just describing a blessing, dog. Why are you saying that? Where is the disguise? Like, and this is what people do with this phrase. Like, you're saying this because you want to add something to it. There's no disguise. That's just a regular old blessing, and it's nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong with a regular degler. People are like, 
Who the hell is this? It's a me, Mario. It Tweet wasn't me, even me. Like, oh, no. it's, it's a faceless. It's a faceless page. <laughs> Judging oh. them. So you super trolling them. You super trolling them. That's what this phrase. This phrase. Twitter is telling me I used the phrase wrong. Yes. 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 yes it did. Yes. Where's the disguise? <laughs> yeah, where is where's the disguise? The disguise? They just That's liked perfect. it. They just liked the tweet. They didn't reply. That's perfect. All right, Trish, what's your feeling on that, though? What's your feeling on um, Hindsight 2020 losing to Blessing Disguise in kind of a tight race? Wait, wait, hold on. Before you do it, let's kind of give her, I know we, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Give her a little easier into it, you know what I'm saying? No, don't worry, I got you. I got you. Mm-hmm, let's mm-hmm. ease into it. Now, <laughs> when it comes to the situation where we're asking is just like how you feel about it. Yeah. You have to, yeah. You, it's nothing personal. Or if you want to get personal, you can never get personal. It doesn't matter. It's just a situation of just like, how do you feel when somebody says, you know, blessing in disguise or hindsight? So yeah. Where you sit with that? I mean, the 2021, I've never really liked that saying anyway. So blessing in disguise, that one, I feel one correctly because everybody can relate to that at some some point in their life. Right? Hmm. A phenomenon because really, (laughs) because really, who's not getting blessed? That's actually my issue with the phrase. Yeah, right. It's actually that we all out here getting blessed and like we be so whatever that it's like we're gonna throw yeah. disguise on there because it's like because blessings are totally perspectives. Yes, yes. So it's like, oh, the disguise yeah. is how you feel about this blessing. <laughs> right. 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 All right, exactly. 20. Hit me with your thoughts, man. No, no, you know, you the same way, man. I just feel like uh hindsight 2020 is just something you can't really get behind that because it's like you, you, you give, I feel like everybody, when, when somebody gives something like that, it's more of a, a all right, yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. That's the kind of response that you give people that swear that, hey, man, I knew this was going to happen. Yeah. Even um, though I did not choose to profit off of it, even though I did not choose to, you know, re- what did I say? Put my knowledge into action as it was doing it, but I knew it was going to happen. That's why I just sat back and did nothing. That's why I sat back and did nada. I didn't even make anyone better for it. I didn't. <laughs> I did nothing. I didn't even warn anybody. I didn't even, you know, uh, you know, you know. I'm gonna just sit back and do it. But when it comes to, uh, you know, blessings and blessings, guys, like I said, man, uh, I feel like it's a situation where everybody wants to believe that it's not gonna rain every time or it's not gonna rain all day, and it's like a situation where, you know. Uh, if I can just, you know, give warrant to my downfall or, or, or give kind of like an out, like a outing of what's going wrong right now, then I can say, I can look back and say, oh man, you know what? I deserve to walk home. Me missing the bus was a blessing in disguise. Because I, I burn calories. Yeah, like, you know, you know, like, I, 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 I hear you. And that's, <laughs> it's like, like I hear no, you. no, no, you just missed the bus. You I missed mean, the bus, you big like, oh, you, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Bless, there you go. And I'm going to leave it here so we can move to the next Blessing disguise, people use it as a coping. And while I don't want to take that coping away, be careful. Just be careful. Be careful with the coping. Guys. Be careful with the coping. That's all we say. Congratulations on the win. Just be careful with the COVID. Be careful with the COVID. Thank you. The Saints came out. The Saints came out and voted blessing in disguise at the very end because you know God is a on time God. <laughs> won't, won't he do it? Won't he do it? All right, y'all. Let's get into the matchup. Round two, matchup three. I do, and now I stopped doing it because. <laughs> <laughs> we are back for our podcast audio listeners. You did not see that one. We have one phrase that has returned, and we are right now. We got the number one, number one phrase in this matchup. So we got number twenty-two. The tables have turned against number one, our number one seed in the tournament, Mother Nature. Wow. Yeah. So let's start with the tables have turned. Like I said, it was number mm-hmm. twenty-two 
Uh, the definition is to reverse one's position relative to someone else, especially by turning a position of disadvantage into one of advantage. Okay. So mm -hmm. they came out number 22. It was a favorite. I think it blew, uh, it, it went crazy. <laughs> it, uh, let me see. Let me get the actual number. It won by 83% of the votes. Yeah. People, yeah, I'm like, uh, <laughs> and I understood it. I understood it as such because like, it's one of those, it's one of those things. Um, and it actually beat baby mama. So it's, a, it's <laughs> I don't know if the tables have turned has something against women. <laughs> Because the matchup the is voters. now the voters, uh, <laughs> the voters, uh, like what's going on? The <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what is? But uh, let's uh, let's let's just recap real quick where uh, what me and twenty our actual thoughts for uh, the table the pick the tables have turned. Who you got? Officially, uh, yeah. Who you got? Turn the table, guys. and and you know what it is even better with that. I love to be on the outside looking in of the tournament. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, like, that's, that's, I just, you know, that's really what takes the cake for me over Baby Mama is just l loving to watch the tables turn. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful fucking thing. And even, it, I feel like it's more beautiful when a table turn on you, good or bad. Good or bad. But being there for the, for the ceremonial turning of the tables, it's a, amazing. It's a, it's amazing. Tables have turned 20s pick. Dog. Dog. 83% of the nation. That's a, that what he I just described why, is 83% of the it. nation, dog. I think I think that's why I got it because of that little segment right there. If you would listen to that segment, it was like, you know what? I like that. Too. Tables of time. Yeah. I like that situation. <laughs> well, let me see. Let's see what I said. I, it, nothing in comparison. I'm 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 hoping the fans rock with us here, man, because I don't want I don't want to see baby mama beat the tables have turned because I want to hear more people's opinions on the tables have turned. I want to see you in this position. Do you think it's glorious like twenty and I? Tables have turned gonna beat baby mama. I hope y'all do the right thing out there. And they did. And they, they did. did. And they did. And they did. <laughs> when I seen him throw that ball. Now uh, I don't know if y'all don't know what that's from, but <laughs> I gotta send that to you twenty later. Please show Trish. It's uh, Adrian Peterson, and it's like I didn't know you was <laughs> Adrian. It's weird, <laughs> but we got it going against Mother Nature. Tables have turned. First, before I get into it, Trish, what's your thoughts on tables have turned? We never heard this. We never heard your thoughts on tables have turned as a phrase. Real quick, just as a phrase. Um, the tables, tables have turned. turned. They're, They're trying, trying to give an example. In my life, when the tables have turned, which a lot of it happened at a younger age, I could say. Usually, like, you know, when you're on the big playground and everyone's having the swings, and then all of a sudden the teacher brings out the kickball, and everyone else wants to play kickball. And it's like, oh, now you call it the swings and you want to go play kickball. And it goes, hmm, the tables have turned. So, my and of course, when it comes to kickball, only a certain amount of people can play. So the people who were hogging up the swings couldn't play because they were too busy swinging. And then, no. <laughs> and hey, then. Listen, bro. Tables, tables of Turn has brings out the pettiness. I'm talking about, it's a, <laughs> this is why. <laughs> it doesn't matter. If you have some unresolved issues in your life, tables of turn. It's like, gonna it's gonna, it's gonna rise up to the top. Like wow, wow, you've been waiting for that. That's why I love it, and this is interesting because it's going against the That's number one seed. And I, and this is gonna hurt me too as well. This this uh this child this this this, this one's gonna hurt me, bro. Yeah, because... brother. So get your making the case ready. Get your making yeah, the case bro. ready. So we got yeah, Mother bro. Nature. The meaning of that mm -hmm. uh, nature personified as a woman considered as the source and guiding force of creation like this is why it was number one y'all i know what we did on the rankings episode and a whole expression of protein was like that's it mother nature yes because when we're digging deep it's like this is one of the most powerful things to say in powerful meanings and we was we had our mothers on the shows a mother's day episode our first ever mother's mm -hmm. day episode the the fields was going and mm -hmm. let's just see it was it was number it's number one so obviously it's the highest graded a 
Let's see what 20 had to say about it, though. The power for me is more on a sense of an A, A+. Plus. I would even give it an A+, plus, man, because it, it was already powerful before we appraised it. And even mm-hmm. now, after it and talking it over with you, Rio, and uh, my parent, my mom and your mom, it's like it gives you even more of a respect for it. You get what I'm saying? I, honestly, I feel like now, if I'm not looking at it as the the Native Americans looked at it, and I'm disrespecting. Yeah, that's how it did. Cause we got the layers and the way they look at Mother Nature and how they really, really honor the woman based on the fact that this is the the human manifestation of the world taking care of us. Mm-hmm. It had it. The power was a plus. Stuff. Yeah, a plus. Of course, it was amazing. Man. It was really, really good to to kind of like dig deeper into that whole aspect as opposed to just, you know, hearing what Mother Nature, hearing Mother Nature and, and coming about it your own reason. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like to, and to feel that, you know, that's how important it was to people. You get what I mean? Like, like back then, like now a days when people talk about Mother Nature, it's just like, uh, mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? But back then, man, like it was, it was praise right under God. You get what I'm saying? Like the earth was praised right under God. And it was just like, you know, that's, that's a loss, a loss thing that we as a people should kind of like get back. We should, we should, uh, a plus. And that's why. I don't, I don't think mother nature is a thing. It's not like a, like a feeling, no? no, it's not. I agree. I think, <laughs> Damn, I think, and I'm going to save this for my make my case because you make a great point to the point where I'm like, wow, (laughs) okay, like, it might, it might be gone. People might not even connect to it when we bring it to them. All right, I got, I got to leave it there. I got to leave it there. I got to leave it there because I'm going to have to talk about that. Great point, Trish. Let's see what I had to say about the speed. Speed, eloquence, easy to say. I mean, come on, it's. Mother nature, four syllables, easy to say, mother's in it, so you, it already feels good to say. You want to say it, it doesn't leave a bad taste in your mouth when you say it. Mm-hmm. It's flowy. Mother nature, again, A+, plus, man, A+. Plus. Probably the only A+, plus I gave. No, yeah, bro, man. that's probably the only. <laughs> <laughs> and sorry, that's because my man. mama and his mama was on there, y'all. Yeah, I think that's what you're adding it up to as well, bro, because you've been hard, hard on these gradings, bro. And to hear you give that A plus, yeah, I think that's the only one you gave. Yeah, yes, yes. Let's see what our mama said. Mama Sheila, Mama Vicky was on the episode. They graded it too, bless their hearts. Listen to this. <laughs> the topic, Mother mm-hmm. Nature. Mother Nature, creation, generations. Double A, double A plus double for a me. Plus. On all a, a plus, Mother Nature. I love the, that you all chose that. That's it. That's all that. <laughs> That's what the mothers had. That's what the mothers had. <laughs> and, it's, and I don't want the audience to think that we cut our moms off. No, no they were just straight to the They were just A plus. Really thank you for having us. <laughs> yes. A plus. A plus. Thank you. We appreciate you. Heard my mom. Double A. Double A. We like we actually love y'all. That's good. When I kept watching it, they they started talking about us. <laughs> How proud they were. Yeah, yeah. As parents. I'm like, no, no. Are you grading our your kids? <laughs> Are you grading your two children right now? Thank you. But the great the phrase. So that's how it became number one. A pluses and then with a double A across, across the board. Okay. Trish, real quick. I think that double A is what got it to number one, though. Exactly. Because I added that up. Mm-hmm. Where you at, Trish? All right. Where you at? I mean, I, I, oh, I mean, I told you, Mom. I think I I agree that mother nature should be a double a as well i agree with the moms and like i said before i really feel like it's a it's a feeling like that's the power of mother nature that when you feel it you know really say it more like a like a phrase i say it more like a feeling a feeling or a force i think that's what we felt though. like they, they yeah they're like yeah natural nurtures you know yes and they get they give you that good feeling yeah i think that's that's why i feel like we felt that that whole show absolutely we definitely felt that whole show that's that's what it was i think that's what it was um all right 
you know what time it is, 20. I'm going to go first. I'm going to make my case. And I'm going to go first. So I don't lose this thought. <laughs> All right. Uh, tables have turned. Here's why. Um, I mean, you saw, it's like, with tables have turned, the visual for me is devil on one shoulder. Uh, more buff. Devil on the other shoulder. <laughs> On the other shoulder Like two devils saying Like it could be worse Like this is the area No Wait a little longer It could be worse Wait till they really In a bad spot Then hit them And that feeling Man The thing about it Is like yeah that sound bad Yeah that sound bad That sound bad But like The redemption Of being Like down And seeing the person That got you down And saying Seeing it change <laughs> Seeing that change, like everybody deserves that feeling. That's why it's hard right now to to say anything negative about this phrase in general, but also say anything negative. Like it's going against Mother Nature. It's scary for me. It's scary for me, but it's fun. It's fun when the tables turn. That's all I got, bro. You know I'm. I am a Sims. A Simpsons fucking fanatic. Yes. And the funniest thing when you said that, I can think of when when Bart had the when Bart was <laughs> yes. This nigga would look over the shoulder. It was a devil Bart over here, and then he looked, and it was late, and then all of a sudden another devil Bart came. He was like, "Yeah, I was like, what would I miss?" <laughs> exactly where I got that from, bro. Exactly where I got that from, fam. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, your turn. All right. Here we go. Once again, guys, in my core, mm. in my core, I just can't get enough of watching the tables turn them. I just can't. I, I, I just can't. I love it. <laughs> I love to sit there and watch it turn because it's a situation where, you know, some people, they forget where they come from. They get too humble. I mean, they don't get, they, they're not humble enough. You get what I'm saying? And once that table turns, you start to realize, like, oh shit, I'm not invincible. Oh shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit's going left now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to react because mm -hmm. I've been I've been used to shit going right. So, like, you know, table to turn is just personally one of my favorites, just on because of the fact that you know what I'm saying. Having to adapt and watching people adapt is a really, really pa a good oh. pastime for mine. Watching people adapt. Watching people adapt. Yeah, I that love was it. gracious. I wanted to let you have your time. That was gracious. That was a gracious way to explain it. Watching people adapt because some people don't. It'd be like um, the some people can't, cannot, don't have it in them. Ooh, don't have it in them. Can't do it. Can't do it. Won't do it. <laughs> All right, I'm about to man. I'm a, I'm gonna channel my inner Vicky Hines and try to make a case for Mother Nature. Try right. Okay. I mean, the Mother Nature's number one. And I know, I know, Trish said it. A lot of people said it. The, the expression of Prelude Team said it in the rankings episode. Even 20 said it, and I said it when we brought the phrase as a possibility. Is it a phrase? And that is the whole, right? Outside of the fact that we're not honoring Mother Nature in its actual origin that we see it at now. And that makes me afraid because it's so powerful. It's the essence of all of the good things that we experience in the world. Like Mother Nature taking care of us, having everything we need, feeling safe, feeling secure. That's motherhood. That's the nature of motherhood, man. And we spent a little bit of time on the show saying, like, fathers, chill for a second. You'll have your time. But this ain't yours. So that's why I'm like, if you're going to vote, you're going to vote for Mother Nature. It's because women mothers should always have their time they should have their time to be honest it's on y'all though i ain't got a vote it's on y'all perfect hey let's let uh let's let trisha take over this one right here let's get it you ready see. trish let's get it you got ready, a minute no, you gotta jump in the pool jump in the pool um, here we go well, my opinions are, are set i definitely choose mother over the one, because I'm not playing. And two, like I said, like it doesn't even have to be your mother. Like that feeling of that nurture, like 
there's nothing else that's more powerful than that. So I will hundred percent say Oh. I'm pretty sure she's listening. <laughs> exactly. That's the other thing. Is my mother listening? 30 seconds yeah. in. 30 seconds in. Didn't even need the whole time. Because, and this is where, this is where. Now, before I, we get into our picks, 20, I will say that it's the, the, another irony of hindsight. I mean, uh, another irony of the tables have turned, it being the last one, and you predicting the tables have turned it winning the championship, and I'm. As it as it moves forward, and I keep saying like it's it's going against a pretty powerful phrase, pretty far, powerful set of words, and I'm still like it, it got a shot, but it um the the actual origin is kind of whack and lame because oh, it's yeah, about yeah, board yeah. games, and it's literally like oh. imagine that you the 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 hand that you have or the the setup you have on this board game changes on your opponent. That's where it comes right. from. It's not nothing clever. So whereas Mother Nature has the most infinite and perfect origin. So, do you want to pick? Um. Okay. Well, I have to pick. You do. All right. You know what? I'm gonna go with. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still a conflict you know of wanting to be right, or what? <laughs> <laughs> it's still a conflict. That everybody goes through, even the non-petty ones. That would you want to be right, or would you rather be right? <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? I'm gonna just go with it, bro. I'm gonna go with my my pick from the beginning. I'm gonna stay with number twenty-two. Tables have turned. Wow, we got another cut to the I chase. I feel like honestly, I just. You know what it is? I, I even though the origin isn't, and I, I, I think everybody needs that 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 feeling of a nurturing mother in their life. Mm-hmm. I just can't get over how good it makes me feel when the tables turn on a motherfucker. Because <laughs> I can tell my mama, mama, the tables. Yeah, turn on come on, my two well, mama. You remember last week? You remember Gerald last week? I'm just kidding. So okay, okay, so. T- Tables have to. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna press the button. For me, t- press the button, bro. Before I change my mind, and my mom calls me. <laughs> Tables have turned. Twenty is stamped. Hey, hey. I have, that didn't help me out at all. I am Listen, still in conflict. <laughs> I am still in conflict, dog. I'm not here to help. I'm not, I'm here, not here to help. help. <laughs> Yo, I need like a I need a shirt that says that now. A hoodie. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not here, here to help. help. I'm actually gonna throw that, put that on one, and then just throw our logo on top of it. Um, you can do that. Thank you. Copyright, copyrighted by 2020. Uh, I'm not here to help. <laughs> <laughs> Man, okay, okay. What do I connect with more? Man, <laughs> man, I'm okay. Dude, come okay, on. hold on, Mario. Let me ask you this. What's up? Do you want to be right? <laughs> <laughs> or do I want to be right? Or do you want to be right, man? Um, no, yeah, I got it. Mean, you know, Trisha already knows her answer. So, do you want to give it to Trisha? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Trisha. Like, one more time, <laughs> since you said it two times already, can you one more time say your choice, please? For me, yes. Yes, you better Okay. That was easy. That was easy. Yeah, not so easy for no me. I got to go with uh, the tables have turned. <laughs> I got to go with the tables have turned, dog. Here's why. And it's very Because you're a man, bro. And you're a man. Hey, it feels that way, but it's like, no, this is crazy what I'm about to say, but I guess it's how I feel. One, uh, tables have turned is all inclusive. We all can enjoy that. And two, um, part of, part of, look, now I'm about to really spin it so I can be the good guy. Um, right now in society, the tables are turning in the favor of women as it should be in mother nature rising so if y'all choose mother nature that will ironically be the tables turning so either way it go let me stamp tables out turn before i keep talking myself yeah please circles. bro you feel yeah. your tournament getting any higher yeah any higher. exactly <laughs> hey yo thank you turn. y'all <laughs> like, exactly i was i was starting yeah spoken word look y'all we appreciate y'all any final words Trish, before we get out of here? Um, no, just 
Thank you for having me. Thank you. We look forward to more of you in the gang on the podcast coming soon. Stay tuned. We're going to start announcing it. We probably will mention it every show so that y'all, because uh, marketing is a mug. 20, any last words, brother? Uh, I just want to say uh, to all the women out there, please, <laughs> all right, please do not take me and Mario in a negative tone. This is just a show. We are just doing this based off our own opinions. Not saying that we are not, uh, what's the word, compassionate to Mother Nature. We're just saying that we feel that the audience is a little bit more towards table turn. That's all. Thank you, 20. To all the listeners, no viewers, thank you for continuing to vote. Please relieve 20 and I of the pressure of this. Go ahead and get your vote on. You know where to go. Appraisethephrase.com. As soon as this episode ends, watch it. Then go there. You'll see the button on the homepage. Cast your vote. You'll be able to cast your vote on IG, the Appraise the Phrase show. In the reels, you'll be able to cast your vote on Twitter and the poll. That's at the ATP show. We're on TikTok doing kind of well, man. But if you want to go over there, go ahead. Uh, we're brought to you by the Underdog Podcast Network. You can find us on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube for the visuals. 20 as always. Trish, thank you. And remember that even if you don't know what to choose in the tournament, that value is truly in the eye of the appraiser. We'll see y'all next week. I'm good. <laughs>